more from how to be a bad bitch before i fully took control of my inner bad bitch my mom used to try to steer me in her direction and toward her vision when i started doing my own thing as a teenager here is a story about how well that went for her in high school I put on sweatpants and a sweatshirt and head out to head out the door to hang with my friends like nothing was up. But I was really wearing little booty shorts <laughs> and a tank top underneath and as soon as I got out <laughs> out of view of our apartment I'd strip down to my sexy outfit and hang out with my friends on the corner <laughs> um, all of us dressed exactly the same like we were at the beach and not on the block. <laughs> One day, a car pulled up and the passenger window rolled down. There was my stepdad driving, my mom riding shotgun, and she was pissed. Get your fucking um, ass in the car right now. She said, I'm cutting up those shorts when we get home. I gave her a look that said, go ahead and make me. But I knew better than to disobey her when she was in that mood. As soon as we got home, she made me go change. When she was in a state like this, I knew better than to try to argue with her. So I put on some baggy sweats and came out of the bathroom carrying my other clothes. My mom was standing in the living room with a pair of scissors in her hand. Give them to me, she said. I handed them over, glaring at her as she started cutting my booty shorts um, into shreds and then did the same thing to my tank top mom I hate you why are you doing this I yelled at her at that age I didn't understand that she was trying to make sure I had the chance to live all my dreams so I mouthed off but of course now that I'm older I can see my mom's point, and that's what usually happens. <laughs> I'm grateful she helped me to reach my personal potential, <laughs> personal potential. Um, even when she was yanking me off the street, worried about my choices, she never said a negative word to me about who I was. She was used to my very free spirit. She knew I was different and she loved and accepted me anyway. She was trying to protect me and keep me from getting tangled up the way a lot of other girls in our neighborhood did. So many girls I came up with got attention from the wrong guys and ended up with babies or high um, in high school or drug problems or both. Monique had four kids all by the same guy but he was in and out of prison for 15 years and she wound up with a drug problem. Sometimes having to live in a shelter my mom wasn't about to let me go down like that because she wanted me to 
have every opportunity in the world to create my own life for myself before I became a mom. And that's a good perspective, you know, looking back at that, because maybe some young teenager is going through the same thing. And, you know, this gives a, a perspective um, that's, you know, an honest perspective. I can appreciate it.